Jimmy with MicroBioGrow. Uh, I'm just going to talk about a couple of the organisms that we actually uh, assess and uh, the different groups of the soil food web. Um, the organisms we really care about are in the biomass levels. The two main organisms are the bacteria and the fungi. Um, we measure their biomass. Their the amount of these creatures. You know, it, it's like their their size doesn't matter, but the amount of them does. So we measure those levels, you know. We can't measure fungi and bacteria the same way, we do different things for that. Um, but we also provide you with the numbers of the, or of the predators in your system. Because these two main organisms, bacteria and the fungi, they serve as the two main food groups for all the other creatures in the soil food web and kind of beyond. Because as these building blocks are kind of creating all of this stuff, they're creating, you know, food for the uh, trees and the plants and they're, um, you know, and then the other organisms are eating them. So, uh, you know, the cycle, you know, the cycle of life goes on. So, um, you know, those are, uh, you know, the, those couple, two main ones are the big ones. And um, we look at those levels and then, uh, yeah, and then we look at the predators, like I said. So in a second here, I start talking about the predators in the system, and then I only talk about nematodes, so I just wanted to uh, actually go over that again and uh, just highlight that the other predators that we actually look like, look at are protozoan predators. They are ciliates, flagellates, and amoebae, um, but, you know, but really, you looking when you're thinking about the predators of the system, like everything kind of eats this stuff. So as it goes up, then you have you know, macro arthropods that are eating and those things that I show you some that are in my sample actually that I pulled out of my compost. Um, they're crazy looking, you know, under the microscope, you see what they really, really look like. So those are the other guys that I, uh, that I did not mention that I wanted to add in. So sorry about that. So the predators in your system that we care about and that we're really looking at, uh, we quantify the nematodes that we find and um, let you know what kinds they are. You know, we do not, we're not giving you uh, information on, um, you know, exact species or anything like that. You know, this is basic data that uh, helps you analyze and, and understand what's going on with your grow, your land, your cannabis, whatever it is, this works everywhere um, so what you really are doing here are we're, we're kind of balancing the biology in your system naturally and that's what we really offer you we offer you you know um, a look into that and how you can do it um, we, we uh, have lots of different ideas that are very unconventional to the uh, to conventional agriculture which is all chemistry and um, we don't do any of that here so uh, sometimes people don't quite quite understand and I and I think that if there's a, especially here in the New York metropolitan area in New Jersey and um, Some friends out on the island like it's it's very different. They don't really what are you talking about? But uh, <laughs> But give it a chance and uh, you know, it's really uh, it's really worth it and um, you know, I hope that kind of clarifies some more uh, stuff about us uh, what, and, and how you know why we're doing this work um so thanks again for watching um i'll wrap it up with that and keep this kind of really short but uh keep uh keep coming back jimmy with microbio grow uh signing out thanks for watching again we'll see you later